Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download and install Optifine in Minecraft 1.13. Optifine allows you to do a ton of stuff in Minecraft, from installing shaders to improving performance to even just making Minecraft look better. It allows you to do it all. I also want to mention that this is coming out on the day Optifine has been released for 1.13. So if you want to see when other mods are released, we'll be doing release day videos for those as well. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. But first, this video is brought to you by Game Servers. Go to The Breakdown .xyz slash mc server. That's the first link down below to get an awesome 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just $1 per month. We use the game servers ourselves and we absolutely love them. Again, that is the first link down below the breakdown .xyz slash mc server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and install Optifine. So the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. It's going to take you here to our website, which is uh, where you can then scroll down and then click on the download Optifine button here. So we click that, it'll take us off to optifine.net, but the website's currently down, so I've got it up and running right here from an earlier cached thing that I had ready to go. Once you're on this page, if Minecraft 1.13 Optifine is officially out, right, if it's out to the public and it's not in a beta or alpha version, you're going to just want to come to Optifine 1.13, right, see, find Minecraft 1.13, and then under that you'll have Optifine HD Ultra, and then you want to find the most recent version and click on the mirror download here. However, if you're watching this right as Optifine just came out, you want to click on preview versions here, and then find 1.13, and then click on mirror. Do not do this if you have Minecraft 1.13 anywhere else on the bottom of this page because you're going to get a much better, more stable build. But nevertheless, once you click mirror there, it will take you off to a page that looks like this. You might have some ads at the top and ads at the bottom, but it's going to look very similar. Then you want to go ahead and click on the download link in between all of the ads, right? It might be sandwiched in between an ad on top and an ad on bottom and an ad on the side. But in the middle, there'll be a thing that says download Optifine 1.13. Click on that and it will immediately start the Optifine download just like that. Now what you want to do is keep this file. I promise it's safe. If you aren't for sure you're downloading the same thing that I'm downloading, you can just make sure that it does say Optifine and then JAR at the very end of it, right? So say JAR anyway. And if it does, you're good to go. So go ahead and keep the file. Now if we minimize our browser, we have Optifine right here on our desktop. If yours isn't on your desktop, don't freak out. Just hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. And in this search box right here, type in downloads and hit enter. It will be here in your downloads folder. You can drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Once it's on your desktop, you want to right click on it and then open with Java TM Platform SC Binary. Now if you don't have that option, it's a quick fix for you. Go to the third link down below. That is going to take you to our article right here, which is where you can download the Java SDK, which will allow you to open up Optifine and many other things to do with Minecraft mods. So if you're interested in Minecraft modding and installing mods and doing all that stuff, I would recommend going and downloading this. But this is, in fact, the third link down below. Nevertheless, once you've got Java SE binary and opened Optifine with it. A lot of words running together there, but once you've opened up Optifine, all you want to do is click on install. It will then go through and Optifine is successfully installed and click OK. If that doesn't happen, most likely you just need to go run Minecraft 1.13 without any mods installed or anything like that and then come back and it will work. Now, all we need to do is open up the Minecraft launcher here. Once we've opened up the Minecraft launcher, we should be able to click the little green arrow here and have Optifine. If we don't, no big deal. Just click on the little arrow or three lines up here at the top. Go over here to launch options, find the profile you want. I'm just going to use Optifine here. And then next to version, click on it and scroll down and scroll basically until you find Optifine. Right there is mine. Click that, click save, come back over here to news. Click the little green arrow, you should have an Optifine profile, click that, and click play. It will now open up Optifine in Minecraft 1.13. Optifine is awesome, guys, and I'll make this bigger once it's opened here, but the great thing about Optifine is it's so versatile. You can do everything from install shaders, check out the video at the eye up there, to improve your Minecraft game and stop lag and do all that stuff, which we also have a video on, check out the eye up there for that. I think I did the wrong side. I don't know. Anyway, check out the eye up above my face for awesome tutorials on installing shaders and running Minecraft 1.13 with less lag. But once we're in here, how do we tell if Optifine is installed? Well, one of the cool things about Optifine is it doesn't really do anything in-game. It's all 
basically in your settings. So let's go ahead and click on options here. Then we go into video settings. And I don't know about you, but I don't think default Minecraft has things like shaders and the ability to do all these different animations on and off and all of that stuff. You now have Optifine installed. Congratulations! If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out, guys. Peace.